Hello there and welcome to the new tutorial of this course Tableau Dates. In this tutorial we will going to look at the date creation function as it is highlighted as the topic 3 and earlier we have completed the dates overview and date extraction function. The playlist for this course is present in the description where you can access all the videos. Also if you look at the number 10 uh, point over here which is 100 Tableau books. So this is the book which I am currently writing. As of 23rd September, I have 10 recipes, but my plan is that in another two weeks, I should have all the recipes here for 100 tableau dates, which is a day to day problems that you identify or you run into and how you can solve those issues. And that will probably help you also to become an expert into looking at the different date problems that you can encounter. All right. So these date creation function that we will going to look at in this video is helpful in creating the dates and not only dates, but the times as well. So we will look at around five to six different function and see how we can create them in various different scenario and uh, utilize it in our dashboard or the report that there where we want to use it. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, see the topics. So over here, if you see what we have is the five different function where today returns the today's date. The now function returns the current date and time. Make date where you specify the year, month and day. It creates the date based on the given day, month and year. The make time where we need to supply the hour, minute and second will going to create a timestamp for us. And then finally make date time, which is the if you have the date and time in two different columns, then you can combine them uh, for your requirement of analysis. So, for example, this is especially useful if you are having some sort of a monitoring system like the IT monitoring system or when the server is failing it, at that time, the timestamp becomes really, really helpful and dates, as you would have seen, uh, it's very helpful from the from my previous video that uh, if an important event is occurring or something we want to see a growth over time, then we create the dates based on that. So let's go into the Tableau and see these dates in action. All right, so here we are within Tableau and over here we will go into the Microsoft Excel and uh, this is the data set that uh, you can get it in the folder. And there is a dates course which I have already created in the given folder and the link is present in the description where you will find this database. So if I double click over here and uh, what it will going to give us the various fields like the day, month, year, time, so on and so forth for the rest of the columns. And this is basically a data set for the various earthquakes that has come at various different dates and times and what has been their longitude and latitude. So now as you could see that uh, this is a very important information because not just the date but the timestamp also has a very important relevance as to when this thing or when this uh, earthquake has come. So right now if you see we have the day, we have the month and we have the year. However, day and month is not properly formatted. So right now by default it has taken as database day but if we have to choose a particular day or if we have to show the particular day like day 2, 4, 5, 8 of month 1 and the year is 1965 then what we need to do is just change this to a number hole and the uh, same thing we may have to do with the month where uh, it is also present as a full date by default interpreted it by the tableau so I will just click the number hole and this will give us so this is the month 2 down there month 3 4 and their respective date and time information and if you see over here even the date the time information is coming as the particular time that we have and the default generated date by the tab. So this default date is uh, really something we don't need and there are other functions which helps us extract only the time information and we will see it later in the videos as to how we can do that. So first of all let's move on to the sheet one and uh, first what we can do is we can create a date and uh, that is based on day month or year. 
or if required even we can have something which is called as uh, today and now function so let's create today and now first and then we will create a date based on these day month and uh, year so here i can just simply write today and click ok so today is what it will going to do is give us the today's date so if i just bring it over here what it has given you is the default aggregation at the year level but if i choose it to day and uh, make it discrete will give you today's date which is 23rd september 2020 now if at the same time if i just go ahead and create the calculated field which is now now we're going to give you the date as well as time so if i just bring in this again as you can see the aggregation is at uh, the the year and for the discrete so what we'll do is go to the more and change this to second um, now if i change this to discrete so over here it will give us the date and our time information as well as to what the date is what the time is so whenever we just need the date we will use today function and whenever we need both date and time we will going to use the now function so this can be one of the interview question that you may face that what is the difference between today and now how would you describe the change or how would you describe the difference so for so now after seeing this you should be pretty clear as to what the difference is and whenever we need time sensitive calculation we will going to use the now and whenever we need the date sort of calculation we will going to use today so this is very helpful in those scenarios where you may want to understand that okay if you are managing the sales pipeline then from today to maybe the rest of the month or the rest of the quarter how much pipeline is still remaining or in last 30 days as of today and the last 30 days how much sales has happened all those things has the today as a threshold and those calculation will going to help you whenever you are uh, having this today within your calculation second is the now is is like i mentioned earlier it's basically useful whenever you have the time sensitive for example now you want to know when the server has run or you want to know when a particular event let's say uh, an employee just came out of the office or came in the office so you may want you may want to calculate the time spent in the office and use of office facilities in those scenarios this can be useful so these are the two functions which generates the today's date and today's date and time so let's bring it out now what we can do is create the make date function so i will just write the same name to give it a calculation name as make date however we have the make date function so here is something we will provide here over here so if you have the dates given like this where year is separated day is separated and uh, the month is separated then you can use the make date function to create the date so if i say day and click apply and okay so now we have the make date if i want to see this entire information we can change it to a particular day and always like earlier we have to change this to a discrete because this is the continuous date uh if you have if you have to see all the different dates then we have to change it to discrete and this can be another question if if interviewer is really into the dates and you know even the interview is very specific to the date sensitive calculation then you should know how would you show the all the dates that first converting into a continuous day or a detailed day or lowest level and then changing the value to discrete so you have got the dates over here now if you want you can do all the different calculations so for example i may be interested that uh, how many days have passed since the last day we have captured the earthquake information suppose this is something you have to give it to your management and they want to track it so that they can enforce some action as to more data is needed so in that case what we can do is create a calculated field and uh, name as days past and what we can write is today i will write the today function to make it dynamic so today will give you the today's date subtracted with the max of 
make date. So when we have the max of make date, what it will going to give you is 30th of December 2016 and today's date will be captured by today. So this is one of the use case by which you can basically get a help related to these functions. So you click apply and OK. And if I just bring this out and say it is passed. So 1363. Now this can be a KPI as well that based on threshold, suppose if 1000 days a threshold or 1200 days a threshold, then how many days has been passed since then. So all that information, you can capture it over here, show it to the um, to your users and uh, bring the visibility into the system as to what is going on with the data capturing. But mainly I wanted to show you how you can do these date types of calculation, which we saw earlier like today function and now we saw we can even identify the latest date using the max date. And opposite of that, that is the min date. That means the lowest value of the date. Now, similarly, we have the make time function. So if I just create a calculated field and uh, say make time and over here, I use the make time function. I provide like, for example, 10 hour and uh, 12 minute and 20 second and click apply. Suppose this is the threshold when a particular event has to happen and we click OK. Then this with the help of this calculation, the static number that you have specified, which is important. Let's say a manufacturing process has to start at this time. Then you can evaluate based on when actually the manufacturing process started. That means either prior to this given time or the next time. So all this information, if I just put it over here and uh, remove this and go to the more and second 10, 12, 20 AM. Now we have this, this timestamp that we have created like manufacturing process start time or employee entry time or server start time. All those things, you know, uh, can be, can be useful with the help of this function. And you can then calculate based on the data that we are capturing. For example, the days past function that we just did, you know, all that subtraction and addition. Finally, what you have is the make date and time. And uh, this is also a very simple function, make date time. Here you specify the date. So for example, the make date uh, that we have specified. So if I just use this make date that we created, and maybe the time is something we have in the make time. So if I just add that and click OK. So, OK, I have not given the name of the calculation, but we can give something relevant. And what I can do is bring all of those information over here and then change this to second. As soon as I change it, it changes to continuous. So I make it discrete. Now for each date, right? If you see every everywhere the timestamp has been added 10, 12, 20. So if we have any other timestamp or series of timestamp which is associated with the date, we can even add that also as part of the date and make it a relevant calculation. So that's mainly I wanted to show you as to what are the different types of date and time creation function that is available which you can use for the purpose of data analysis. Now, in the next topic, we will look at the date evaluation function.